Hi, today we'll be going over some of our most commonly used Conga Composer parameters and how they can be added to your solution. First, let's start with the OFN parameter. The OFN parameter is going to be an output file name parameter that overrides the default name of the file stored in Salesforce. You can also use dynamic labels uh, in the OFN parameter. It'll also affect multiple templates. So let's go ahead and try our test in our solution here. Here I have a blank solution. I'll press customize with parameters, OFN, and I'll do presented. Anytime you want to do a space, it'll be delineated by a plus sign by Conga. And then let's also add the account name. If we press the merge field helper here and name, we can see it automatically adds the account name. So the output file name should be presented by Conga with the account name. Let's go ahead and add a solution record and give that a test. I'll quickly go out, we'll update the button. Anytime you add a, anytime you add a parameter, you'll always want to make sure to up, press update button before testing. Let's launch Composer. And let's go ahead and merge in a local template that I already have stored here. The contents of the document aren't going to be too important for this test. Uh, we just want to make sure to check the output file name. Here we get a download and we see presented by Conga with the 123 warehousing name for that, for that account. If we go back to the account, you'll see that 123 warehousing is the account name. So that is how you use the OFN parameter. One of our second most used parameters is going to be the default PDF parameter. Default PDF sets the output type to an Adobe Acrobat PDF. You only have two options when using the default PDF button, either zero for same as template or one when you want to change it to a PDF. So let's go ahead and change our Word document to a PDF. We'll press customize parameters again, default PDF, and the value of one. And let's go ahead and test again. Remember to press update button before testing. I'll upload the same template. I do want to draw attention to the output options here. You'll see that it was changed from same as template to PDF file due to the default PDF parameter we just added. So it makes the actions take effect on the composer solution here. And then we'll go look at our file and we'll see it's a PDF with the same file name that we had using the OFN parameter. And that is how you use the default PDF. Continuing to build onto our solution, we're gonna talk about a parameter that allows you to update a field on the Salesforce object. So for example, I have a top five test checkbox. If you wanted to check the checkbox after a merge, the MFTS zero or master field to set parameter will help you do so. MFTS is a two-step parameter. MFTS zero identifies the field you wish to change. MFTS value updates that field to the desired value. This parameter also calls for a third parameter that's required, and that is the UFO parameter. UFO is just an activity logging parameter. Here you'll see updates any field, and that is required to use MFTS as well. So now that I have the top five test checkbox already added to my account, let's go ahead and add the parameter. We'll start with the required UFO parameter, UF0 parameter, excuse me. That tells our solution that we want to update Salesforce fields. We will then use the MFTS zero parameter. And I have a checkbox, top five test on my account object. We'll add the name of that field here, underscore, five underscore test, underscore. All right. And finally, we will want to add the MFTS value. So that way we can update the value of the checkbox. In order to update the value of checkboxes, we can use the value of true for checkbox usage. We can also use the number one for true or zero for unchecked. So here I'll put a one for a checked value. You see I have my UFO, the MFTS, and the MFTS value, the three parameters needed. We'll return and we'll, we'll go and give it a test. Make sure you update your button again. And I wanna call out a few things on this UI here. Here you'll see the update fields box is checked and that is due to the UFO parameter. So that is something you wanna make sure you have when using the MFTS parameter. We'll go ahead and use the same template we've been testing with here. Click merge and download and give Composer just a few seconds. Here you'll see we get a new file as a default PDF with our new output file name. And now let's go back to our account and refresh the page and see if we get that checkbox marked. And here you'll see that we get a successfully marked checkbox after the merge and pro download process. Moving on, let's say that you were very happy with this output and now you wanted to save your output file to the master object. Well, we have a parameter for that as well. And that would be our SC1 parameter or save a copy location. And this, this value helps you define where you would like it saved. Here we have a list of options for it. You can save it under the attachments, chatter, 
documents. You can even save it to your Google Drive or Box or OneDrive if you have those set up in your Salesforce environment, including the Salesforce files page. The SC1 parameter also calls for the SC0 parameter here. You can see that is a required parameter. So let's go ahead and test this out. I'm going to press customize with parameter. We're going to add the SC0 parameter equals one. And then I'm going to choose to save my merged file to chatter on my account object. I'll return to our solution record. Make sure we update our button one more time. And let's test. Here, again, you'll see the save a copy has now changed and is enabled due to the SC0 parameter. And we are now choosing to save to chatter. Should you want to change this manually, you always have the option to click this drop down menu and change it as you see fit here. Let's go ahead and merge our same test template. We'll give Composer just one second here. All right, you see we've got a successful download. And now we will need to go back to our account. Let's refresh. And let's go ahead and scroll down to our chatter page here. What you received just now, I generated this same file with the same output name. Here, if we navigate over to our documentation and our composer parameter guide, you'll see we have a whole section for email parameters. In this section, it'll show you how to use the email to ID as well as the email template ID to set up your solution to send to a Salesforce contact or lead within your environment. But let's say you wanted to send this to an external user. And in order to do that, we're going to add the email additional to parameter. And this sets the additional to field on the Salesforce email. So let's navigate back over to our solution. We'll press customize with parameters. We're going to do the email additional to, make sure you check for typos. And we're gonna put in my conga email address here. We'll add and return a solution record. Let's make sure we update our button. And when using the former email parameters that I mentioned, you'll, you should get a different output here. But when using the email additional to, you'll see that the action gets immediately set to email. So let's go ahead and grab that same template we've been working with, and you'll see the button changes to merge an email. And you'll see after merging the template with the same PDF and the same output file name, we get an email UI where the additional to field is already filled out. We'll just add test here for the subject, and we'll go ahead and send an email. And this is excellent for when you want to send your solution and the template to an external email address or internal. And that is how you can utilize some of our most commonly used Conga Composer parameters to customize your Composer solution. Thanks.